Hey everyone, welcome to Edge Science. My name is Aditya and I'll be your instructor for today. While working on any data set while data exploration, you might have heard about the describe function, the usual describe function which gives you a small descriptive statistics summary like count, mean, standard deviation, minimum and maximum values, 25th, 50th and 75th percentiles. Sometimes when we are working on the real world data set, these stats are not enough to get familiar with the data. So today we will be building one user defined function which will give you a detailed descriptive statistics summary on continuous and categorical variables. So let's begin with the intro. Let's start with importing the pandas library. I'll make sure to comment out each and every line for your detailed understanding. And let's begin with importing the data set. And we'll be using pt.read underscore excel function for reading the excel file. And the data set we'll be using for this for today's analysis is sample super store data set, which is one of the most popular data set for beginners to perform any analysis. Let's have a look at the first five rows of the data set. Using, so I'll, I'll use the head function to get the first five rows. And as we can see, we have, a, uh, we have order ID, order date, ship date, ship mode, customer ID, customer name. And at the end of the uh, data set, we have sales quantity discount, which means we have a pretty good number of continuous as well as categorical variables. So let's have a look at the usual describe function by writing um, um, by writing df dot describe which gives us a small descriptive status summary like count, the count, the number of rows present in the data set, the mean, standard deviation, minimum and maximum values, 25th, 50th and 75th percentiles. This is pretty good, but when we are working on real world problems, real world data set, if you're in a job, you're, do, you're, free, you're a freelancer, or you want to analyze your own business data, these stats are not enough. We, need, we also need some of the things from the categorical variables as well, like the mode, and from the continuous variables like the mean, each and every percentile, P1, P99, P2, P98, and number of missing values as well. So for that today, we'll be building the father of describe function, which will give you a detailed descriptive status summary. For that, we'll split the data set into continuous and categorical variables first. So let's begin with it, splitting the data set, data set into continuous and categorical variables. Uh, and let's give it a name, df underscore, continuous variables. We'll split the data set using the lock function. And let's say if the data types, if the data types of any variable are float 64, right? Or it could be the data, uh, the data type could be integer as well. So we'll write d dot d types equals to int64, it could be int64. Then it will go into the continuous variables and for categorical variables, let's write continuous and variables. And for this, let's write it out. If the data types is object, then it will go into continuous, oh sorry, we have to type categorical variables for categorical variables, right? So let's run this and let's have a look at what we have in the continuous variables. Yeah, we got all the continuous variables into this df contiverse uh, data, uh, data frame and let's have a look at the categorical variables. Now we have order ID, ship mode, customer name, segment, country, all into one uh, data frame known as df categorical variables. Let's start building the user defined function. UDF to get um, descriptive set summary 
let's for, uh, first build for the continuous variable for conti variables so let's give it a name um continuous where summary and we'll pass an argument x and then what we want to return is pd dot a series uh, which will have uh, we want the count x dot count and then we want the number of missing values x dot is null and we want the sum of missing values and then we want the sum of all the variables and then we want the minimum values and then we want the minimum values the me we want the mean as well and the median the median and standard deviation um, the variance and all the quantiles to to get the quantiles we'll type x dot quantile x dot quantile and to get the first quantile i'll type 0 0.01 to get the fifth quantile i'll type 0 0.05 now to get the tenth quantile i'll type 0.1 to get the 25th quantile i'll type 0.25 to get the 50th percentile i'll type 0.5 now to get the 75th percentile Type 0.75 to get the 90th, 90th percentile. I'll type 0 0.90 and to get the 95th percentile. I'll type 0 0.95 to get the 99th percentile. I'll type 0 0.99. And at last I want the maximum values x dot max. Now let's assign a name for them. Um, index. Um, to count for count, let's give it n. And for missing values, let's go and miss number of missing values. To get the sum, let's give it a sum. The, mm, the minimum values, the mean the median the standard deviation variance and here we here we have fifth first percentile then we have p5 fifth percentile then we have p 10th percentile and we have p 25th percentile we have 50th percentile we have 75th percentile we have 90th percentile we have 95th percentile and at last we have p99 99 percentile and then we sum up with the max function so this is one user defined function which will give you a detailed descriptive status summary let's what happened oh i need to close the bracket now let's call this continuous var summary function, which will give you us a descriptive status summary of all the continuous variables. So for that, I'll need this df continuous function. I need to apply it and call this function continuous var summary. So here we got the detailed descriptive status summary. To get it in the nice format, let's uh, transpose the transpose this thing. And to get it in the right format, let's round off some of the values till two. Yeah, we got this function. Now we have a detail. You can compare the 
details from this describe function with this user defined function in this function we had only one two three four five six seven eight matrix and here we have more than 15 matrix so we have the number uh, number of uh, records present in the data set the number of missing values we're lucky that we do not have any missing values otherwise it is a mess when we are working with the real world problems we have the summary of everything the minimum the mean the median standard deviation variance and all the percentiles with the maximum values and we get a very good amount of uh, familiarity with the data with this function so let's build a function for uh, categorical variables as well so let's define the function let's um, comment out every line udf to get summary of categorical variables categorical variables let's give it a name get a summary pass it x so first of all let's count the mode mode is x dot value counts and let's reset the index and let's return a series like we did in the previous step pd dot series series so first of all we'll have the as usual count x dot count um, as usual we'll count the sum uh, the number of missing values as well is null you can use is any as well now now let's get the mode uh now let's get the frequency zero comma one and this function will give you the percentage let's give them some names uh, index equals to uh, the first one is n second is n miss third one is uh, the mode fourth one is the frequency and the fifth one is the percentage let's run this function Let's call it the same way like we call the continuous variable function. Here we'll type df dot cat vars dot apply and let's call it categorical sorry the categorical variable summary function. And here we got everything what we what we needed. Let's transpose it. Let's round off the values. And here we got the uh, continuous variable summary in a very detailed manner. Like in describe function, we do not have any summary of the categorical variables, but th but this user defined function will give you a very detailed summary of the categorical variables as well. And we have the number of values, the number of records present in the data set, the number of missing values, the mode of every each and every variable, like the standard class is the mode of ship mode. And this is the most frequent uh, customer ID William Brown is the most frequent occurring customer name. Consumer is the most occurring segment. United States is the most popular country. We can say since it is the mode. New York City is the most popular city. So it's now it's your time to apply it on your data set. Any data, pick up any data set from internet or you have your own data set. You're working on any problem. Just apply these two functions and you'll be good to go. If you want more case studies like this, just subscribe this channel. We upload very frequently and thank you so much for 100 subscribers. And if you want, uh, if you have any case study and you want me to do any uh, data analysis and uh, if you want me to data analysis on Python, Excel, SQL, any platform, just comment it down in the comment section below. Thank you so much.